Smirnoff. Danny, can I talk to Edna for a minute? Be my guest. I'd like a couple minutes of quiet. What's this about? Why'd you go and get Emmett's invention sealed up like that? I had no choice. Once Mr. Sagan told me about your attempts to radicalize my poor Emmett, I knew I had to stop him from going through with your dangerous invention. But it's his invention, and it's not dangerous. Okay, maybe it's a little dangerous, but only to him. That's for the authorities to decide. Have you seen Mr. Sagan around here anywhere? No, and I wouldn't tell you if I had. He's more than a little scared of your anarchistic tendencies. Why is Parker so willing to do your bidding? <laughs> well, the good detective knows that he owes his current rise through the ranks to my reporting on his behalf. Oh. He also knows that I could just as easily pen an expose about his previous nights of drunken debauchery and evidence tampering. You're blackmailing him? Reporters don't blackmail, Mr. Schmirnoff. We look out for the public interest. Did you see? Trixie Trotter got her old job back. Oh, I know! I tried to have it out with Arthur McFly, but he refuses to explain himself. Apparently, he discovered some sort of loophole that allows that Canadian to retain her position. Well, the Ladies' Decency Society shall hear about this. Make no mistake. Okay, this is pointless. I've got to find Emmett. Stay away from him, you anarchist hooligan. No, can you... A potted plan? What's this got to do with law enforcement? It's a bug. No, a plant. But it's got a wire recorder hidden inside, see? If we could have got one of these into Tim and Speakeasy, and if he's the kind of guy who talks to plants, we could have busted him a lot earlier. Well, speak of the devil. The amazing inebriomatic. Well, from what the boys in the lab tell me, Someday we'll be able to tell whether people have been drinking just by breathing into a machine like this. Try it out. I don't think so. Now, the greetings, forward thinkers of Hill Valley. Hi, Trixie. That's Techni to you, kiddo. Right. Uh, congratulations on getting the old job back. Thanks. Justice triumphs in the end, you know? Now, what can I do you for? So, which exhibits do you recommend? The most popular attractions are the Glass House, the Future Furnishings, and of course, Enlightenment Under the Sea. You know who that is under the diving helmet? That's Jacques Duteau himself. Of course, you need to get tickets if you want to see the main attractions. How much are tickets? Aw, oh, put your money away. Yeah, we're kind of like family now, you know? Thanks. Thanks. Happy to help. Welcome to the phone booth of the future, made with Atlas Glass. Atlas, unbreakable and soundproof. Our phone is hands-free, so you can enjoy a sandwich or a cigarette while chatting with friends in perfect privacy. Would you like to place a call? Yes, I'd like to talk to... Unfortunately, this phone booth only accepts incoming calls. Here's my ticket. Give me a ride in that thing. Thank you, monsieur. 
I hope you will find your trip to the bottom of the sea very soon. Picture radio. Wonder if that's anything like MTV. He's approaching. Act casual. The electro pacifier. Amazing, isn't it? They say one day we'll be able to stun fleeing criminals by shocking them at a distance. Does it work? Nah, it's just a model. secret police recorder, just like a regular potted plant, but with the recorder inside. 
Nice and Trixie to give me these tickets. They're supposed to get me into all the big attractions. Emmett Static Accumulator. I gotta get this to Emmett, but first, I gotta get Emmett. Bedlam at Brown Divorce Hearing. Wife takes pot shot at a strange hubby, famed industrialist Emmett Brown. I don't believe it. He's still fading to marry her. Don't fade out on me, Dad. I'll be home soon. I hope. Hey, Trixie, 